Greetings and salutations, my dear audience. This is Joe St. Egg Benedictus. Just coming at you with another coronavirus blues video. Just want to give a shout out to my pal Mike and to all the visionaries and mystics out there. Just making a video to tell you my tale of woe. You see, every weekend we usually frequent our local used bookstore but our local used bookstore has been closed for about two weeks now so I am pretty bummed I mean you can literally say I hit rock bottom or I can no longer bear with it or it's been a very cold and icy month okay it's going a little too far so uh, what we did, however, in order to figure this uh, out and try to overcome the coronavirus blues is we got a bookshelf and we took out all of the books that were stored in our closet and we have lovingly named the bookshelf the used bookstore. So we are going to visit today the used bookstore in order to show you the books that have been collecting dust in the closet. Now you may think, well, this sounds like a boring video. For some of you, it may. But if you're a real bibliophile like I am, this is going to be pretty awesome. I mean, I'll try to not, you know, I'll try not to make it too stubby of a video. <laughs> so let's go over to the uh, and visit the uh, used bookstore in the old Saint House. Going through the beautiful Florida room here. All right, heading over this way. Don't want to make you seasick, but I waddle when I walk, so that's that. And here is our beautiful used bookstore. In the background, you're going to hear the wonderful sound of Scooby-Doo because my assassin daughter number two is listening to Scooby-Doo in the background, so I apologize for any background noise. But just want to point out a few highlight things that we have in the used bookstore. For instance, if you want to get a copy of Evi Wiesel's Night, I would highly recommend that, of his tale of uh, surviving the Holocaust. This is a golden oldie, Choose Your Own Adventure. You remember those where you get to read and choose your own adventures. They've been coming out with board games that we've been picking up, and uh, we highly recommend that. We also have some pretty good historical, well, his not historical, but... Old books, the Jungle Book, it's a pretty old uh, version. Uh, let's see here. This is pretty old. Let's see. So, just seeing if it's illustrated. It is. So, pretty neat. So, we try to pick up these older books in our used bookstore, which is no longer open for right now. Uh, classic, if you're f in Florida, the yearling uh, about... Uh, growing up in the uh, Florida wilderness back in the colonial days. Let's see, we have an old edition of Treasure Island. We have a bunch of uh, Roald Dahl books, which uh, Junior Saint did a book report on beginning of the year. A lot of Treehouse books, Anne of Green Gables, Little House in the Prairie, right? Yeah. Uh, and a car that I picked up from Cuba on a mission trip. Number two uh, includes C.S. Lewis's Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe, uh, the Chronicles of Narnia. Okay, we have A Wrinkle in Time, some classics, Maya Angelou. Um, let's see here. We have an old Boy Scout book. You might have seen these in my other videos that my dad used to, uh, this was uh, something my dad owned, so it has a lot of meaning to it. And a lot of older books, including this very awesome book. Uh, the never-ending story. You might have uh, watched the movie, but there's an actual book. And this is pretty rad. It has pretty neat kind of green green uh, type, so it's not in that traditional black. It is illustrated. So it's pretty amazing. And this particular book is from let's see here 1983. So pretty awesome. And then another uh, treasure that I have, this is actually from my uh, childhood, Encyclopedia Brown. All right, I'm back. Encyclopedia Brown, which I have from uh, my childhood. Hey, Father Saint. Hey, Junior Saint, what's going on? 
So pretty awesome. Oh, pretty cool. Another Encyclopedia Brown. And wacky cars. All right. I'm not going to show you every uh, shelf because some of them are just boring. Some of our religious uh, and Bibles and stuff. We have some pretty good reference books here. If you need to look up fishes or insects or trees or birds, more birds, and then pocket guides, seashore, birds, shells. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, first uh, first edition, Barbara Brown Taylor leaving church, which is a, an awesome find. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to go through all of these, but just wanted to kind of give you a snapshot of how we're surviving the coronavirus blues and getting for your Floridian. The Everglades uh, by Marjorie Stoneman Douglas is a classic. I'm actually at Alma Ma, Alma, that's my Alma Mater, Stoneman Douglas. So uh, we always grieve around February 14th from the shooting uh, a few years ago. <clears throat> And uh, it's kind of an older book, Elements of English Composition. We have a lot of education books because we do homeschool. So another Birds of Florida book. Anyway, and then these are more of our um, hardcover uh, children's books, which we don't really use anymore because the children all are grown up. But we refuse to get rid of them because they are, uh, some of them are very meaningful. Like Jubal's Wish, we've been reading that to the kids for since, since uh, Sister Saint was a baby. So anyway, this is uh, how we're trying to pass the coronavirus blues. And now we say, uh, all right, I'm going to go to the uh, used bookstore. And basically, this is what we have to go on. Uh, I think uh, when I finish the current book I'm reading, I'm going to check out the Encyclopedia Brown books. And I'm also going to read... Let's see here. There's another book I was going to check out. But uh, the uh, Choose Your Own Adventure book I think I started and was kind of boring. Anyway, so thanks for joining me. And, uh, you know, as you go throughout this uh, coronavirus blues uh, time, keep your head up. Be kind. Don't get too depressed. Play with your kitty. It's good! <laughs>